All right, welcome back to Do Liberty Firearms, and today we have yet another brick wall, but this one isn't just any bricks. They're not actually bricks, they're cinder blocks. This one is a giant cinder block wall, one massive solid piece. It is mortared together just like any other house foundation would, and this is a giant wall. As you can see, we did not fill it, but we're gonna see what happens when we shoot it with anywhere from a little 22, or a little Agulia, whatever that is, 22 rounds all the way up to a 762 by 54 hour R no, well, that was weird 762 by 54 R out of my Moisem Nagant Moisem Nagant and we're gonna see what kind of damage happens when we shoot it through this wall at one of our friends ballistic shell Bob's cousin ballistic shell friend now he's gonna be sitting behind this wall and we're gonna be seeing what we can do when we shoot through it with various different calibers and we're gonna see if this wall will save you from multiple calibers and what calibers it won't save you from. So we're gonna find out today what happens when you shoot through a brick wall at a ballistic shell head. All right, so we have shot the wall with our 22 long rifle again. It sounds so quiet compared to everything else but it has just taken a chip out of this, but a bigger chip than it did the bricks. This has about a, I would call it an inch tall by three quarter inch wide by about a quarter inch deep, a little gap out of that brick. Now we're gonna shoot at it with some bird shot. All right, so as you can see, we just shot it with a 410 and it didn't do much. It, again, just kind of painted the bricks. Actually, did take little chunks out where each pellet hit. Not much though. A lot of damage down here, looks like. Just little divots out of it. But now, we're gonna step it up from a 410 with some bird shot to a nine millimeter full metal jacket. And we're gonna see what that does to these bricks. So stick around and find out. All right, so that nine millimeter full metal jacket nice dent in that wall put it actually nice perfect looking hole from where it hit I don't know where the round went but it's got to be somewhere in front of here but um, we are going to step it up it's picking up here so sorry about the audio we have a 12 gauge buckshot we're gonna see what that does against this brick wall and if we can even touch our friend behind it when we shoot at it so stick around and find out what exactly happens with some buckshot So we have tried just a couple of rounds here, 9mm, 22, 410, 12 gauge with buckshot. Now we are going to try our 5.56 from PMC out of my AR-15 yet again. And we're going to be trying to shoot this through our brick wall and hit our head behind it. These are full metal jacket boat tail rounds. So we're going to see what exactly we can get done with our AR at this wall. All right, so we just shot our cinder block wall with a 5.56, and as you can see, we have a pretty decent hole in the wall, and I can see the projectile on the inside here, so let's see what we can get out of here, copper-wise. Um, that's a piece of brick. Let me try, where is it? There's definitely some small pieces of copper in here. All right, you know what? I'm just going to tilt the wall back. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. All right, so we are shooting a 7.62 by 54R at our cinder block wall with our friend behind it. And we're going to see what happens. So stick around to see what a 7.62 by 54R can do to this brick wall, cinder block wall.
All right, so we just got done shooting our 762x54R out of our Moisin Nagant, and we have another hole here. I think it's kind of cheating. I kind of shot a little close to the other hole there. But it went through this front side, and it looks like it pierced the back side just a hair. And I did, by chance, miss the head. So he's still alive here, sitting there nice and pretty. But we do have an exit on this wall. Looks pretty weird. It's about, you know... I would say the size of a, a big orange and uh, in the middle you can see there's a tiny hole where the exit of the 762x54R is on the brick wall so it will penetrate but it's questionable because that was a close shot to the other shot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over and we're going to try to reset it a little bit better in front of the head and we're taking out the 300 win mag so we're taking out the biggest round i got out here actually i lied i have a 458 socom that we can do after this so we're going to see what a 300 win mag does to our cinder block wall with a ballistic shell behind it ballistic shell head behind it and we're going to see what we can do and if we can kill our ballistic shell buddy behind it so stick around to see the devastation All right, so we just shot a 300 wind mag at our cinder block wall, and as you can see, we have a pretty decent hole in our wall here. And actually, look at that. I found a piece of the copper jacket, still kind of warm actually, from entering that wall. And we have absolute devastation on the back side of it. So, as you can see, 300 wind mag will go through a wall. It will shred up and tear apart into tiny pieces of copper, jacket, and lead though. So, behind it, oh wait, I lied. We have the 300 Win Mag right here. This is a piece of lead. I'm actually going to tear into them a little bit here just to grab that. But there, right there, you can see we have our 300 Win Mag. <laughs> so that came out of our brick wall, through our brick wall or cinder block wall and into our ballistic gel buddy's head. So that, I believe, had enough force to get in there, but not enough force to be lethal in the long run. It is definitely not something that you want to be hiding behind if there's a 300 wind mag on the other side of it. So, as you can see, it definitely did some damage. It looks like he cried a little bit there. But, uh, you know, we got, we got the bullet out. He's going to live. So, I think that's a non-lethal shot. Now, we're going to pull out the 458 SOCOM and we're going to see what we can do to the right side of this brick wall just to finish it off. Alright, so we just shot our 458 SOCOM at our cinder block wall, and as you can see, it has devastated these bricks. There's nothing left of that top brick at all, and it exploded. But the coolest thing I thought, I haven't touched anything at all, but right here is a giant chunk of 458 SOCOM lead that is turned inside out and just looks absolutely devastated. So when it hit that wall, it must have hit with so much force that it hit the backside, exploded the backside, landed literally. I would say about six inches from the wall. So that one again, 458 SOCOM, even though it's a massive round, it's not lethal through a cinder block wall, a hollow cinder block wall at that. I thought, you know, hollow cinder block wall, it would go through, but I mean, it definitely destroyed it, but it didn't go all the way through. Maybe it went through, but it didn't go far. And again, our ballistics gel buddy, he is going to live to fight another day with only a wound, tiny little flesh wound from that 300 wind mag and that's something terrible to say. A tiny flesh wound with a 300 wind mag. How does that happen? 
But uh, so we have our ballistics gel buddy Fred. He made it through the day with our brick wall or our cinder block wall. I got to stop saying that. So he's going to live to fight another day. But until next time, like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see.